hello you guys and welcome back to my channel today is going to be another lash with me we're going to be doing a fill on this extra wispy cat eye set absolutely love this set i love every set that i post i don't know if i'm ever not gonna say that but i mean i guess um this is a product list that i've been using and i did for this look i did use the easy fans by vis and you guys when I first started my career, I started off using Easy Fans. I feel like I sort of mastered Easy Fans because I've never had any retention issues. I don't really know why there's such a bad stigma on Easy Fans. I think it was because mainly back in the day, like back in the day, lash extensions was a lot less accessible. And the artists who did use Easy Fans, I feel like other lash artist is it's like a shaming thing i don't know um some type of shaming thing i guess but in my opinion i've never had issues with easy fans i never had retention issues with easy fans i mean maybe if you have retention issues with easy fans or maybe you just don't have good retention i don't know but yeah so i used them today and they were so good they were so dark i absolutely loved them so much it made my life so much easier i literally got done within this set maybe an hour and a half maybe about an hour and a half an hour and 45 minutes but no more than two hours for a refill keep in mind refills are a little bit long also because i spend my time really deep cleaning my clients lashes i spend my time at priming my clients lashes also taking out any outgrowns of my clients lashes so taking out the outgrowns and cleansing because it's not a one-two step like if somebody needed a full set and i really really get in there that takes at least 30 minutes of my time so technically doing this set was like an hour hour and 20 minutes max without all the prep work but yeah you guys so that is what i was using today oh i forgot to go over the mapping so for spikes this is going to be an extra wispy set so i like to use a longer spike to fan ratio with my extra wispy sets so we're going to start off with 14 15 16 17 and 18. this is a d curl and it is a 0 0.5 diameter now for fans we're going to be going in in between 10 to 15 D and we're going to be going in from 9 mm, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 and on the very outer, outer corner we're going to be going in with a 16 mm. So that is my mapping. So a couple of videos ago I was asked basically how do how would you get started with lash extensions well not i but you guys if you wanted to do lash extensions how would i get started um honestly go to youtube university i'm not saying learn everything from youtube because it's just you you got mixed information but the point is is that try and learn as much as you can from youtube buy a mannequin try and practice see if you even have the patience for it mannequins are like 40 50 bucks for like a whole kit so you'll be able to practice and things like that see what you can basically self-learn and if you like it go ahead and invest into a class invest into an esthetician license or any type of license your state requires i would honestly just say unless you know for sure or or are going to force yourself to absolutely love last extensions i would not say to take a class immediately not to go to esthetician school immediately i'm not saying start your clients before you do any of that stuff but what i am saying is when you're in practice when you're practicing go ahead and try out a mannequin first try and learn as much as you can on your own and then take those educational courses and things like that because a lot of the times those educational courses are hundreds thousands of dollars really really expensive and if you don't even know if this is something you're gonna like you may be wasting your money 
So to save your money, practice first. Go to YouTube University, find out what you can, and yeah. If you guys have any more questions, leave them down below. I'd love to answer them in my videos. I love chit-chatting in these videos. So if you have any questions, leave them down below. But yeah, you guys, that is it for me. This video will continue on, but I will be leaving. <laughs> so thank you guys so, so much for watching this video. Give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and comment down below what you guys want to see next or if you have any questions or just anything you feel like you want to comment go ahead and comment down below i'll see you guys in the next video i hope you have a beautiful blessed day